If you're watching this video, you must be very, very tired of getting kicked from Valorant consistently for so far no reason. <sighs> oh my fucking god. By now I can guess you have searched for multiple ways to fix this issue, but none of it worked, including completely uninstalling Valorant as well. Well, today we'll do a full guide on how to get rid of this error. There are multiple things you can do, so let's get right into it. Alright, first of all, a little backstory and a little request from you guys. So I'm a close beta Valorant player that has been experiencing this issue since the very beginning. Yes, I've googled everything and so far nothing has fixed it for me. But it seems like I'm not the only one experiencing this. Weirdly enough, not many people are talking about this on forums at all. So I suppose only a small number of us players are affected by this. But even if you aren't, I'm pretty sure during games you see your teammates randomly leave and you're like, Oh man, these AFKs. But the scenario must likely is that the person got kicked instead of just leaving two to three times randomly during games. See, at first I thought it was because my PC is pretty old. In fact, my setup is so old that even my monitor cannot be recognized in the video settings. So pretty much I cannot even set the desired resolution for my game. Only play full screen borderless. This is where that request part comes in. Please give me money. <laughs> Nah, but if you're experiencing this issue, please comment down below your PC specs and which method helped you solve this issue from the video. That would make my research on why is this happening so much easier. Now let's get onto the desktop and see a couple of methods we can use to fix this. First things first, what you want to do is update your GPU, that is graphics card drivers. They came out as soon as the Valorant launch, at least on Nvidia. I don't know about the AMD since I don't have AMD GPU, I really have no clue how those things interface even look like but here for nvidia users we have geforce experience of course and you by the default you'll be on home you want to click on drivers right here and as you can see it's literally for valorant um i already started downloading it so i just need to like if you don't have this tab saying geforce game ready driver what you want to do is basically just click on check for updates and it should pop up as you can see literally got released as soon as valorant got released so yeah we want to download that and install that real quick once it's done downloading you'll see the status change to preparing package and afterwards these two buttons i usually choose to go with custom installation just in case make sure you have everything selected and if you want perform a clean installation also do not get worried if your screen goes black for a couple of seconds it is because you're installing a new graphic graphics card driver and i'm just saying this in case you have never installed the gpu driver which is pretty bad now that our gpu driver is downloaded we're going to check if our windows is up to date believe it or not many people think this is not important at all but it actually is riot game support says it themselves make sure your windows is updated to the latest version so you want to check for updates pretty much and install everything that needs to be installed once you're done downloading it's going to ask you to restart now we're not gonna restart yet because we have a couple more things we need to do you basically want to close that Open command prompt by typing CMD in the search. Run as administrator. Very important. Click on yes. This console will open. What are we going to do is disable tunnel network basically right now. That's what Riot recommends if you're getting this issue. I'm going to post this comment in the description below. So um, you want to click on enter. It's going to say okay. Um, you want to close that. Alrighty. So now this step is probably the most complicated step. But it has helped the most people out. It is worth a try and do not worry it's not going to mess with your computer although do everything at your own risk of course um next thing what you want to do is open the command prompt again by typing cmd in the search bar uh, right click make sure to run as administrator very important i'm gonna copy this command in the description below so basically we're going to turn off the testing mode off if you get this error, however, the value is protected by secure boot policy and cannot be modified or deleted. That means you have secure boot on. So what are we going to do right now is disable the secure boot. Now to disable the secure boot, it's not that complicated, but people are scared to do it uh, because you have to go into your bias. I'm going to post the video right here showing you guys how to do this step by step. The video is not from me, but I'm posting it for educational purposes.
Your BIOS will probably look different than that, but the idea behind it is the same. You're going to look for boot options and disable secure boot. It's easy as that. Make sure to save changes in the end and your PC will restart. Now we'll repeat the same step that we can do again, which is turning off testing in CMD. Once again, don't forget to run as administrator, otherwise it's not going to work. And the final step is that we're going to reinstall the thing that is kicking us from the game in the first place. Um, here in the search bar, you just want to type in add. You'll get this add or remove programs. Wait for everything to load real quick. We're going to scroll down until we see. Um, what is it called? What is it called? Riot Vanguard. You want to click on uninstall. Yes. So pretty much what you want to do right now before we restart is close that, open Valorant. Once the Valorant opens, you'll get this red button saying update on the right side. You wanna click on it. And do not worry, this won't allow you to play without the anti-cheat. Um, We're gonna wait for this to install. And then as you can see here, it says after installation, a reboot of your computer will be necessary. So you will most likely have to restart your PC. Sometimes weirdly enough, it happens that you don't, but that's whatever. Anyways, let's get into the game and see if everything works fine and so on. All right, so we're in the game. So far, everything works just fine. Um, we're going to go ahead and launch a practice because we don't want to grief our teammates if we end up getting kicked because we're good Samaritans. So we'll just go into a shooting test. Everything seems to be working fine as of now. I'm going to stay in the game for a bit longer just to test it out. But I don't think that's going to be necessary um, so far. I am not getting kicked or anything like that. So I think it worked. I mean, we've done a bunch of things. And honestly, I feel like if this doesn't work out for you, you just have to write a ticket to support and figure it out that way because we honestly did everything that we were instructed to do by Riot Games, by multiple people on forums. This is all researched. Like, I didn't pull all this information out of my ass pretty much. I'm not that smart. So far, everything seems to be running nice and smoothly. Also, do not forget to write a comment down below what your specs are i'll be really interested in that and um soon i'm going to be changing my monitor as well so i'm gonna let you guys know if anything changes with that reason why i'm saying this is because as you guys could see early on i literally couldn't even change my resolution since my stuff is old so i thought maybe that has something to do with getting kicked as well anyways that would be pretty much it for this tutorial i'm hella tired man Holy moly. I don't even know if any of you guys know, but I'm uploading daily now, twice a day, every day, and I can pretty much say it is exhausting. And this is like only day two, but yeah, I'm gonna make it. I'm planning to do this until September 20th. I think it's going to be a fun experience and one of the main reasons why I'm doing this is because of the PC that I'm going to be getting. By getting that PC, I'm going to be able to push out a lot more fun and versatile content since right now I'm limited as hell. And on top of that, my PC is dying so I can really edit well. But honestly, if you made it this far, please let me know by commenting something like I like pillows in the comment section down below because that would really mean a lot to me. Once again, I hope I helped you guys out. I hope this works out for you, especially since the ranked season is just around the corner and it would be pretty much impossible to play ranked while getting kicked every few minutes. As for Valorant content, I will be uploading it. So if you wish to subscribe, please subscribe and please make Ember proud by grinding and not wasting any time but instead working right now so you can have a better future. Work hard, boys. Work hard. Too many thoughts on my mind. I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help. I don't need opinion, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online. My city don't show me no love and that's fine. Local radio stations. I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again. I've been going in. I'm fed up with so